Hey, I wanted to walk through an amazing article that uh, one of our phenomenal client managers dropped into our company Slack today. So shout out to Regina. Uh, Regina, thanks for uh, always uh, keeping me on my toes. Um, I hadn't stumbled across this just yet, and I'd love it. It's a conversation that we have with clients and prospects often. Um, it's comparing analytics and Google Ads, um, specifically uh, in the realm of e-commerce, um, which it ends up being a critically important discussion. Y what a lot of e-commerce merchants are doing, and I don't know why this is the gold standard other than it's just easy, they're tracking their conversions inside of analytics and then importing them wholesale into Google Ads. This is an error, and it's an error for a couple of reasons. Analytics tracks conversions differently than Google Ads does, so you're losing a, a segment of data, and Google Ads tracks conversions from a paid advertising perspective maybe in a more effective way. And so what you want to do, instead of what I just said, is um, you want to track your conversions using Google Ads conversion tracking and analytics. But you're not importing the analytics conversion data. Instead, you're keeping it separate so that you can reconcile against. This gives you the opportunity to kind of, you get to triangulate. So now you see what you see in Google Ads, in Google Analytics, and inside of your CMS, or you know whatever merchant system you're using. Um, and that gives you the opportunity to kind of see where your data overlaps um, and where you might have gaps or errors. One really important note that I've hi highlighted here. Uh, if you see differences in the values, it doesn't necessarily mean that your tracking is wrong because analytics and ads track differently. That's why we want you to track the way that I just described. And I'm gonna to link to this article here in the description of this video. You can see the difference. So here's the way that analytics is tracking, here's the way that Google Ads is tracking. Um, the way that analytics is counting is set by default. In Google Ads, you can actually define this on a per user basis. The attribution time in analytics is on goal completion. For ads, it's on uh, uh, the, the click that led to the conversion, which also gets a little confusing, by the way, um, because the conversion can happen much later and so if you're one of those advertisers that pays really close attention, especially if you have a small spend, you'll notice that when Google says your conversions happen and when you see your conversions happening aren't necessarily aligned. This is why. Uh, attribution source is last click by default in analytics unless you're using the model comparison tool. Um, and I have a, a video on the model comparison tool that I'll link to in the description of this video as well. Uh, another article that I want to link to because it's important is you can see all the various attribution models that are available to you um, when you're looking at multi-channel uh, funnels in the model comparison tool. Uh, this is important for you to know, but unless you go out and configure this, Google Analytics is going to default to a last click attribution. Um, this and, and notice that it's last non-direct click. This isn't an analytics course, so I won't get into that. Um, but it's you know last click that wasn't the user going directly to your website. Um, you don't necessarily want to you don't want to gauge your campaigns according to last click attribution, um, which is why Google Ads allows us to uh, have utilized different attribution models, which is really cool. Um, reporting is different, uh, which I actually honestly didn't know until this video. I think this is really interesting. Uh, reporting in analytics is after a 72 hour processing window and um, reporting in Google Ads is based off of your the conversion window you define. That part I knew. I didn't realize that analytics had a 72 hour processing window. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, which you know lends itself to some of the reasons behind why we have like you know um, uh, delayed attribution and conversion lag and all of those things, and we send our reporting out later. Um, the attribution differences I think are really important. Um, I've got uh, some articles again on the the MS, uh, MCF attribution models, um, the the model comparison tool standalone, which I think is really cool in analytics. Um, I also am linking to an article that I thought was kind of cool about just con various conversion windows and why you would use different conversion windows. Um, not necessarily what this video is about, but because we touched upon it, I just wanted to link to it because I'm a good guy. Uh, and then maybe the most important article that you can read today is about attribution models. How the, the, the attribution model that you choose, how you choose to assign credit can have massive impacts on um, the success of your campaign. Uh, do, you know, as an example of that, when we started using First Click for some of our smart shopping campaigns, we actually found that we were able to scale campaigns that were previously unscalable. And it's because we were saying, hey, Google, go give the credit to user acquisition. Well, smart shopping is a user acquisition engine. And so it was my business partner that figured that out. But once we figured that out, it gave us the opportunity to, to grow campaigns that previously, no matter what we did, weren't growing. Really significant impacts um, from attribution models. The thing that pisses me off are the qu and the questions don't piss me off. It's the, actually the answers that piss me off. But you'll have people that say, "What's the best attribution model?" It's like saying, "What's the best bid strategy?" It depends on so many things. 
so many things. And the, what pisses me off is when you get educators out there that are like, oh, you always use time to game or you always use whatever. We can give you best practices. I have in videos in the past and I've actually gotten nailed to the wall for it, so I'll never do it again. Because you know, in the past I'll tell people, well, the gold standard is generally time decay, all other things being equal. And then there's so many exceptions to that rule that I've been on you know, trainings and seminars and even on our master class, um, what was our boy's name? Usama, uh, Usama who started, uh, joined our, our 3X Shopify master class, um, tagged me sort of <laughs> uh, very in a very friendly way, called me out and he's like, hey bro, why are you telling me to use time decay in all of your YouTube videos when you guys are saying to use first click attribution in um, your smart shopping campaigns? And it's that's a good reason as to why I'm, I'm going to try to not offer wholesale answers to things anymore because there's so many exceptions. And we've learned, to be honest with you, we've learned since then that you know some things work better than others. And for a long time we were using... Um, uh, uh, time decay and 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 position based interestingly which kind of makes sense as one that I'd be interested in, in playing with because it gives adequate credit to both the first and the last and then limited credit to uh, you know whatever's in the middle um, but you, you need a significant spend for that so no wholesale rules for these it, it, be really careful of anybody who gives you any blanket wholesale rules I just think that's absolute crap um, date of transaction this is interesting. This, I already talked on this a little bit, but uh, ads is reporting the conversion against the date and time of the, the click that led to the successful action, not necessarily the action. Keep that in mind. And analytics, um, the conversion is attributed to the day the conversion actually occurred. A little bit more details in this article, nothing that I felt was necessary to highlight. Um, but I'll link to all of these in the description of the video, and I'll link to my video on the model comparison um, tool because that's a it's an amazing amazing little application inside of analytics and it really gives you a lot of phenomenal data so if you like this video like comment subscribe we shoot a video every day thanks for watching y'all are awesome i'll see you tomorrow